Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. That's Maggie, she's funny. I'm Steve, I just talk for her. Uh, she's already gone back to her couch, at least you got to see her for a second. I'll try to remember to call her over for a visit at the end of the uh, video as well. Um, today we're doing another hot sauce review that uh, was a gift from Uncle Remus over in Ontario. This is another Heartbeat hot sauce review. Uh, Heartbeat's also lo located in Ontario. They're in Thunder Bay, Ontario. This is their blueberry habanero hot sauce. This is made in partnership with Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. Uh, I don't know too much about them to be honest, but I understand that there is an ale as an ingredient in this sauce. So that is kind of neat. Um, I really like the, uh, the Forgotten Lake Blueberry Ale. Their little um, float plane logo there. I really like that about Heartbeat Hot Sauces. Their their labels both change. They have a different logo in the mi middle depending on who they've partnered with. Um, I think that's really cool that they put their partner's logo in the center of their label. And that's the Heartbeat Hot Sauce logo right there. Just a tiny little thing on the back. They're, they're advertising for this other company and that's really cool. That's a very special, generous thing to do with their products, I think. Um, so anyways, small batch fermenters. I like that as well. I like the squeeze bottle. Um, the squeeze bottle works really well when it's a nicely pureed, um, finely pureed sauce, which this does seem to be. It's kind of hard to tell in there. It's very thick looking in there. It kind of like really sticks to the walls of the, um, the bottle as you shake it. Either that or it's just completely full. <laughs> no, I think it's, I think it just takes a while to, to travel. Um, they gi give this one on their heat scale, it's halfway between medium and hot. Uh, looks like it's having a bit of trouble. Oh, there we go. Focus is there. Um, refrigerator after opening, preservative free shake well made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. What else do we have going on here? Not too much else. The ingredients are blueberries, bell pepper, onion, distilled vinegar, organic cane sugar, red habanero, garlic, lime juice, kosher salt, canola oil, and blueberry ale consisting of water, malted barley, hops, and blueberries. So they got blueberries in there twice. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. I did already mention, I'm gonna say it again, this was a this was a gift from Remus Requiem for Heat. A good, really good guy, really nice, generous guy with an excellent sense of humor and a heart of gold. He does a lot for his family and in the comment sections of all of these channels as well. He's a very very active in a lot of the channels, and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you, Uncle Remus. So, I'm gonna open this up, and I think it has the little safety seal in the neck there. Yes, that is right. So we will remove that. It's tearing a little bit. Oh, no, no problem. Ooh, yeah, nice and, um, I don't know what the word, it's a thick color. It's not translucent at all. I know there's a word for that. I wanna say opaque is the word for that because I had a problem with that before. I, I got opaque and translucent um, mixed up, I guess. So I'm gonna give this a shake, make sure we get all that stuff mixed up nicely in this. Really interesting color on this. It's a very deep purple. It's a good band, by the way. Um, yeah, you can't see through it at all, which I believe is opaque. That is the word for that, I believe. I should research these things before I th start just throwing words around. I'm gonna open this up. I didn't actually smell it when I opened it. Hmm. Getting the vinegar, get vinegar, getting the garlic. I think I'm getting some of the lime. Getting the blueberry. Hmm. Oh, didn't get it on my nose, oh I sure did. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I can smell the, the habanero in there. Hmm, interesting. 
Now, of course, I will not be tainting this sauce. I'll be using my Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat Mother of Pearl hot sauce tasting spoon. You can get these from johnnyscoville.com or from deathnuts.com. I have my splash guard at my feet because this is a purple sauce. This one, blueberry, oh yeah, that's going to stain the carpet. So, <laughs> using a uh, stainless steel plate, I guess it is. It's just super thin. Let's give this a pour. <laughs> See, immediately sprayed out of there. That would have gone straight onto the carpet. That's hilarious. There we are. Wow, really interesting color. Hmm. So from Heartbeat Hot Sauces in Thunder Bay, Ontario, this is their Blueberry Habanero Hot Sauce in partners with Forgotten Lake Blueberry Ale, Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. Eat my shorts. Mmm. Wow. That's that's good. I like it. A little bit of a sting. So you can see the color of it. It's very nice, very nice blueberry color. Mmm. Every spoonful I taste the blueberry more and more. At first I was tasting the vinegar, the garlic, the lime. I wasn't, I'm not necessarily tasting the that blueberry ale at all. Mmm. The bell pepper, yeah, definitely tasting the bell pepper as well. Hmm. This is good. Wow. Heartbeat sauces is really good. They have some really good sauces. This is a really good blueberry sauce. It's not too hot at all very mild. For me, my heat scale, I'd say probably at like a 2 out of 10. Just a very slight tongue sting, tip of my tongue, a little bit of the, the, my Adam's apple, my Stephen's apple. <laughs> um, very, very slight sting. Delicious blueberry flavor. It's got that nice sweetness. It's got that nice vinegar flavor as well. I'm gonna have a seat. Call Maggie over maybe. Hey Megs, come here. Maggie, what's this? Yeah, it's got a very nice blueberry flavor. Um, oh yeah, I wasn't done talking about the heat actually. My heat scale is a two out of 10. But if you're new to this, you could find that to be a four or five or maybe even a six out of 10. What a good girl. Hey, is this your, your little foxy toy? No, oh, she just wants attention. She doesn't want that. Um, yeah, you can find this to be a 6 out of 10 if you're really new to eating spicy foods, if you don't do well with heat. As far as what I would pair this with, quite a bit of things, I think, actually. Definitely, I would, I'll put this on a peanut butter sandwich. Eat this with breakfast stuff, like even bacon and eggs and, and uh, toast. Um, fruit and yogurt and granolas. I'd use this as a salad dressing as well. It would be delicious on a salad with like strawberries and like goat cheese or feta or something like that on there. So sp spinach salad. Um, a 
I'd definitely put this on pizzas, different kinds of pizzas. I'd experiment with all sorts of pizzas. I think that'd be really good. Like a ham and pineapple pizza, throw this on there, I think that'd be really good. Even like a meat lover's pizza, I would experiment with this on pizza. And then as far as desserts, yeah, totally. Um, pies and pastries, um, ice cream, like apple crisp or rhubarb crisp or however you... Some people call it crumble instead of crisp. I guess you can call it all sorts of different things, but uh, um, plum plots, if you're familiar with that, it's a plum, it's like a pastry sort of. My mother used to make it. She probably still does from time to time, I guess, maybe. But uh, this would be great on that. It's like a squares dish with plums in it. I'd, uh, I'd absolutely restock on this. Um, I like all of Heartbeat's sauces. So far, I haven't tried a single sauce that I don't like, I don't think. Um, I can't think of any of that. I think they're all really good, well-rounded sauces. You can get them from heartbeathotsauce.com. That's where you can find them. Um, thank you so much, Uncle Remus. This is such a cool gift. I'm, uh, I'm definitely taking my time working through this, this lineup, this uh, care package that Uncle Remus has sent me because... You know, you make it last, you space out the products with all these wonderful gifts from all these people and some stuff that we've bought locally and all sorts of things. You know, we got to keep it interesting and share the microphone, so to speak. And uh, today, today I am, uh, I'm thanking you, Uncle Remus. This is delicious. I, uh, I actually haven't had breakfast yet. Maybe I'll make a peanut butter sandwich and throw some of this on it. I think it'd be r really good. Maybe even add some more heat to it. You know me. So anyways, I think that'll about do it for this review. A little bit of a shorter one today, I guess. Um, Maggie came by for a quick hangout. I think we, uh, we've got it all taken care of. I don't have much else going on for today. So, I hope you've, re um, I feel, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this review. I was almost, yeah, I almost said that wrong. Um, hope you enjoyed this vi video. I hope you're having a great day. And I uh, hope the rest of the day is good to you as well. This has been another episode of Heat My Shorts. Um, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.